Hi there. Today I wanted to show you some things I got online. These are stainless steel alkaline sticks. They came from China. I think all this kind of stuff does and there's a million different people out there selling them. I've been trying them and I'm not absolutely sure that they work. I've got a couple of them in this bottle. What I do like, whether they work or not, what they do for me is remind me always I have to hydrate myself to try to do it as best I can. These things are supposed to work by shaking them a lot and then letting them sit. But I thought it's been laying in the car for over a week. So whatever is in it should come out. Plus I've got two of them in this bottle. And we'll test this today and see what happens. Okay, here we are. I'll just get my pH strip ready. It's only going to take a second. comes up past the lid so I know both of them have been covered for a while so I'm going to put it in there. Well, this one reads somewhere about an 8. I don't know what's up with that right on the edge there. I don't think that matters. The whole, I think it's an 8. What do you think? So, they're better than nothing. Well, the verdict's in on the alkaline stick, right? They're higher than plain water. As long as it's higher, if it's an 8, that means it's 10 times higher than the 7. So, I'll take it. I'll put a couple of these in my car. So I'll just let them sit there and whenever I'm ready to have some, I'll have some. I like the balance when I put two of these things in. And it doesn't roll around on the floor in the car. When it falls, it just stays there, clump. So you don't have to go chasing around and have a car wreck trying to get your water bottle or whatever it is you're... Pay attention while you're driving, okay? <laughs> Stop texting. So if you decide you like the whole concept of these stainless steel alkaline sticks, I should show you how you activate them from what they say. They say you have to put it in a bottle and um, shake it for 30 seconds. So is that um, 30 seconds yet? I'm not doing the counting myself. I'll just when I when I get when I get tired maybe, I'll just stop shaking. And I can always shake it with this hand, but I think it should be fine. And then you pour it out. And you pour it out because these things have just come off a factory floor. Nevertheless, you fill it up again, you shake it again. I poured that out and I'll shake some more just to make sure that these things they fell on the floor, whatever. But 8 pH is almost like, what's around 8? Some cleaner start at 8 pH. Well, you know, the main thing you need to know about drinking water, right? It's for you to hydrate. All of your cells are crying out for water. And if they don't get it, they're going to die. Or basically suffocate for lack of oxygen and lack of the ion. that It's got the opposite blocking. The longer it blocks the worse it's going to get and the bigger the concentration of blockages. So you need to hydrate with water in as high a pH as you can find it or you need to take ordinary water and improve it by maybe putting some baking soda in it. That'll take it up to a 9, absolutely. Or calcium, way up there with the calcium, magnesium and zinc, it all comes in one tablet. Everybody should be taking that every day. I tested it and it's somewhere between 9 and 10 pH. So there, those are some things you can do real quick to help. And you gotta stop. You just gotta stop drinking anything else. I'll cover fruit on another day, but that's all there is for now. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Stay healthy. Up yours.